Hello, my name is Pavel Paclík. I am co-founder and managing director of Perclass BV. We are a software company based in Delft in the Netherlands. We have developed Perclass Mira, a software that makes it easy to interpret spectral images. Earlier this year, we brought to market Perclass Mira Stage. It is a lab scanning setup that can be used to quickly acquire high quality scans, interpret them and validate these solutions. Here we have the stage mounted with halogen illumination and Hebel MVC Wiener Hyperspectral camera. The stage is easily portable. It comes in a single rugged bag and can be assembled without tools. Therefore, it allows you to bring the full setup close to your samples in diverse production environments. In this webinar, I am going to guide you through Perclass Mira 5, our upcoming software release that is closely integrated with the stage. Perclass Mira 5 makes the process of acquiring high quality data, analyzing, and validating solutions significantly simpler and more efficient. I will use the quality estimation workflow as an example throughout the presentation, specifically the sugar content estimation in grapes. So what do we need in this workflow is to scan many examples of grapes, destructively measure their sugar content, attach this information back to the spectral images, so that we can build a sugar estimation model using regression modeling and finally deploy the solution. Let's start with the first uh, major improvement in Perclass Mira 5, which is efficient scanning workflow. You can now comfortably acquire 100 high quality scans in 25 minutes. This means you can collect large data sets and therefore build better models in the same amount of time. The scanning process can be fully controlled from per class stage buttons. You can now also decide whether you save the scan or actually retake it. Parts of file names can be separated by underscores. These parts can be then easily focused and incremented by mouse wheel, cursor keys or a stage button. Here we have our system. We take an object, we put it on a table, and we press the green button to scan. Once the scan is ready, we decide to save it by pressing the red button. We put another object, press the green button to scan. Now we press the yellow to increment the scan counter and the red to save. You see the process is very simple. Put an object, Scan with green, increment with yellow, save with red. Very quick, we do not need to reach for the mouse or keyboard, we can fully operate the process of scanning from the buttons on the stage. So in summary, a scanning fully controlled by the stage buttons, a retaking scan anytime needed, so you have curated data sets, and it's easy to keep structured information in the file names. In our projects, we collect hundreds of gigabytes of data. In Perclass Mira 5, we developed an effective scan compression technique that significantly lowers storage requirements. It is designed specifically to deal with large training datasets. To enable scan compression, you only need an object classifier. This is only a matter of few clicks in Perclass Mira. We define a background class and label some pixels to it and then create a new grape class and assign some pixels of our product to this class. Then we can train a pixel classifier and we assign the grape class to foreground so we can segment objects. That's all what is needed to apply compression when scanning. We switch to the camera and we grab a scan. The object detector will be automatically applied and only the pixels highlighted in yellow will get saved to disk when we hit save. So this is a compressed scan with only pixels of the grape preserved without any loss. Let's grab a new scan. Often we are interested not only in the foreground but some of the background. With the slider in the toolbar we can extend object boundaries and when we um, hit save 
the acquired scan will contain the foreground and some of the background so we can build good classifiers along object boundaries. When we grab another scan you can see that Mira is now able to stop when object is detected and also trim the scans uh, around the object. This helps us because we can place the product anywhere on the stage and we always end up with small scans. The user is in full control. He can label anywhere in the scan the pixels we wish to preserve. We may also edit the mask and remove the parts not relevant to our application. Let's have a look at this project with full cubes from one scanning day of grapes. When we highlight the entire set, you can see it's 84 scans in total 16.7 GB of data. When we look at exactly the same data compressed and highlight the full set, we can see that we have the same 84 cubes that occupy less than 5% of storage needed by the full cubes. In summary, Perglasmira 5 brings lossless compression of spectral data fully integrated in an efficient scanning workflow. User remains in full control. Building robust models. Already comprehensive regression modeling is now extended until per object classification. Perglasmira has been offering regression modeling since the release 2 in 2019. We came a long way since this first release. We are now able to build robust models from hundreds or even thousands of objects, easily import lab measurement ground truth, understand performance with a range of common measures, clean the datasets with outlier scoring and error plots. We can understand where the errors happen and improve the models. In Perclass Mira 5, we extend the regression modeling further in two per object decisions. Here I have an example scan with uh, different grapes and I have uh, already built my regression model. These are per pixel decisions. If I switch to object view, we have per object segmentation. We can switch this into per object decisions that in our situation would be all grape. But in per class Mira 5, we can add two additional decisions, sweet and sour, and we can set up in the object panel a decision rule that will use these new categories. So by default the grape will be sour and if the regression output is over a certain threshold it will become sweet. That gives us the decision at the object level and a quick way to see the change when we are adjusting this decision threshold. Integrating with existing per class Mira tools, you can now estimate object confusion matrices for regression projects. This table summarizes decisions on more than 300 grapes. The sweet sour ground truth is in rows and the decisions are in columns. This tool gives us full understanding and control of the desired performance trade-off for our quality inspection or grading system. In the solution A, we do not throw away sweet grapes but our customer will receive some sour ones. In the solution B, we preserve high purity of the sweet sorted output, but the rejections will contain some sweet grapes. In summary, we can now turn regression models into classifiers and have full understanding and control of the object level performance. That brings us to dual scanning. Often we need to decide whether VNIR or NIR sensor is needed. We have developed a dual scanning setup, where with a single scanning effort you acquire two datasets. It is then quick and easy to find out which sensor provides better value to a customer. Let me show you this great new development that saves us a lot of time in our projects. Here we have a Headwall MVC NIR camera uh, working from 900 to 1700 nanometers attached on per class stage and next to it the tiny headwall MVC Wiener camera working between 400 and 1000 nanometers. To work with dual scanning, you start by attaching per class Mira instance to the stage and one of the cameras as usual. We can fully set up the scanning with this camera as needed. To work with the second camera, we open a new instance of per class Mira from the camera menu. 
The original instance we call the master and the new one a worker. The worker connects to the second camera, here to the MVC NIR system. As you can see, the worker window background is blue. This makes it easy to understand for any dialog box or a pop-up whether you interact with the master or a worker. Using the dual mode is very simple. Each of the instances saves data to its own specific directory. When scanning, you only operate the master. When we click the scan button, the master notifies the worker and both instances start scanning. The file name is changed only in the master. Any change propagates to the worker. In summary, in Perclass Mira 5, scanning with two cameras is as simple as scanning with one. After your session, you can compare the two solutions and decide which sensor provides the best value to the customer. With Perclass Mira 5, we are bringing an operator mode, which is a simplified solution for deployment that is easy to use by operators. Perclass Mira Stage is designed to go beyond expert R&D development and feasibility studies and help with solution validation close to production. Once we finalize our solution, we can switch the application into the operator mode which is a very simple interface, uh, session oriented. So we start a new session. Here we can see uh, the data flowing in reflectance per pixel decisions. And we can switch it into per object uh, mode. So when operator puts the new product on the stage, uh, what we can see is the bricks value per object, but also the object counts, mean standard deviation, and the histogram. So this is a simple tool to perform incoming goods inspection in lab or at line. The operator mode allows to distinguish developers who can change models from operators who can only apply the solution in the simplified interface. Actions and results are locked into a database either locally or remotely. Other integration options part of the operator mode uh, involve the application server that is built in per class mira that allows you to control both the software and the stage through simple text commands over TCP IP over network. So that enables you to do quick internal integrations and quick internal tooling without uh, low level um, development. When you are doing the low-level development of your application, you can use per class as components. There is a camera API that provides the acquisition from a range of spectral cameras on the market. And there is a separate runtime API that provides the data processing. In summary, per class Mira 5 makes it easy to validate solutions close to production. And there is the whole range of integration options available. That brings us to the conclusions for the entire presentation. I've been demonstrating how Perclass Mira 5 unlocks the full potential of Perclass Mira Stage. It empowers you to build robust solutions in a fraction of time. Are you interested to explore these new options further? Then please reach to us and book your demo. Thank you very much for your attention.